my name is Emily. I'm going to be a problem with skill bay, drawing up insulin. I'm in the appropriate school tire. Shoes on, badges visible, no polish, no acrylic nails, no jewelry. All right, supplies for this video, two medication vials, pair of gloves, two alcohol wipes, and syringe and needle. All right, to start this call off, I will verify the physician's orders, then I will verify the six rights of medication administration. That's right patient, right medication, right dose, right route, right time, and right documentation. I will then check the medication ordered in the EHR and verify this against the MAR. I do that three times for ever giving medication to a patient. So this is one out of three. Um, the medication order for my patient is um, insulin. The order states give four units of regular insulin, eight units of NPH intermediate insulin. So I will be combining the two medications into one injection, equaling out 12 units of insulin subcutaneously for my patient. Gather my supplies. Now I head to my patient's room. I will knock, enter, close the door behind me to ensure patient privacy and to avoid any HIPAA violations. I set my supplies down on a clean, dry, flat surface. Hand hygiene and introduce myself to the patient. Hi, Mrs. Smith. My name is Emily. Can I please have your name and date of birth as I verify with the wristband and that will count as my two patient identifiers? That is correct. Mrs. Smith, do you have any allergies I need to be made aware of? No allergies? Verify for a second time. Now that I've laid eyes on my patient. All right, Mrs. Smith. I'm going to hand hygiene and put on some gloves. Well, as you can see here, I have um, an injection for you. Your uh, physician ordered you to have some medication, okay? Um, there's two sets here. You're going to be receiving that in one injection, okay? The first one is regular insulin. It's a short-acting insulin. And the mechanism of action for that medication is that it draws glucose from your blood into the cell, uses that as energy, therefore lowering your glucose levels. Uh, the use of this medication is it covers insulin needs for meals within 30 to 60 minutes. There are some common side effects with this medication, uh, hunger, shakiness, uh, anxiety. There are also adverse reactions. Adverse reactions we do not want to happen. That can be anywhere from tingling of the lips, uh, seizures, tachycardia. So if any adverse reactions do take place, please let me know and um, I will notify the physician. The second medication is an immediate NPH. Um, same mechanism of action, it just lowers your glucose levels. The use of this medication is that it covers insulin needs for about half the day, so it is um, it covers them much longer. Excuse me. The side effects for this medication is weight gain, uh, any water retention or sweating, uh, adverse reactions again, same as the other one, we do not want to happen. But that can be generalized weakness, severe headache or confusion. If any of that does happen, um, if any of the adverse reactions happen, uh, please let me know and I will notify the physician. For this injection, I will obviously come back and check on you. I also want to let you know that upon injection, you may feel a slight stinging or burning sensation that is normal, unfortunately, but I just want to make you aware of that. Do you have any questions for me? No? No questions? Okay. Verify for a third time. Um, also, at this point, I would get the patient's glucose levels and determine when their next meal is. So, the patient is receiving insulin. Obviously, I've verified against some more three times now, but there are many other times I'll have to do that. From this point out, I have another nurse right here by uh, me. We will both be verifying the amount um, for each of them and then the total amount um, each time with the MAR. So again, to reiterate, my patient will be receiving four units of regular, eight units of intermediate MPH, totaling out to 12 units of insulin. Um, the way it works is that I will be drawing up air for the intermediate, injecting that into the vial, not drawing up solution. Then I will inject the air for the regular, um, excuse me, draw up the air for the regular, inject that, uh, draw up the solution, then drop the solution for the intermediate. Again, totaling out to 12 units. All right, so I need to roll the medication vial in my hands. All right, clean the top of the vials. Okay. Then, remove my needle and syringe. First one, I will be drawing up the eight units for the intermediate. Nurse and I verify against the more of the process. All right, so eight units. Nurse and I verified against the more eight units of air. Okay, move the cap. NPH. 
administer the eight units of air. I do not want to touch the medication or draw up any fluid. Okay. Next is the four units of regular insulin. Okay, four units. The nurse and I both verified with the MAR. Okay. Inject that into the regular. I am able to draw up the solution out after I inject. So invert, draw up the pour. Tap to remove any air bubbles. Nurse and I have both verified against the MAR. Okay, four units. Okay, now I can um, get the intermediate medication, but I have to make sure I do not administer any of the regular into the vial. I also want to make sure I do not overdraw. Okay, so I had four. My totaling dose needs to be 12. So that means I will draw up the eight. Okay, 12 total. Nurse and I have both verified against the MAR. Withdraw, tap to make sure there's no air bubbles. Okay, recap the um, needle here using the swoop method. Okay, for the final and last time, the nurse and I will verify against the MAR 12 units of insulin for my patient. Okay, medication is all ready to go. If I was preparing this away from bedside, I would label the medication vial here with the patient's name and the dosage amount.